What is up, guys? Tying Purpose here, bringing you another seeds, seed code spotlight or seed spotlight. We're part two here. Um, these seeds aren't very good, but the next seed codes I believe should be much better. In well, I guess in turn much better. But let's just get right into it here. First, we got I call this Swamp Islands. I um, explored the area a little bit, and first off, you spawn right here where this glowstone is. At least I think so. These bloody chickens were pushing me around when I spawned. But I put a sign here no noting that I spawn facing this way. But what's basically good about this sea code is it's clearly Swamp Islands. See those bloody chickens? But, oh, I need to turn my noise down. I'm sorry for that. Uh, 20. There we go. And music is all the way up to 75 because music in Minecraft is just amazing. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn this on easy right now. Um, but, so you spawn right here. You face this way. But two good things is it has a zombie spawner and a mine shaft. But, first off, the mine shaft is right there. As you guys can see, it's basically right under where you spawn. And the... If you want to find the zombie spawner, I should probably get on creative here, guys. Okay, so if you want to find the zombie spawner, you just take a left here, and you follow this little teeny tiny little um, thingamajob here. But I put glowstone where to dig down. It's clearly right here, right on the edge. If you see this clay just looking like a circle, circle out of squares. <laughs> um... You just want to dig right down, right in the middle of that. And I'm going to just block this off really quick with some diamond. Okay. Um, let me turn my full bright on for you guys. So basically, you just want to go all the way down here. And then, boom. You run right into it here. I will place some torches for you guys. I believe my... Yeah. Still have to get Java. 64 bit, but let me get some torches if I remember correctly. Shut up, zombie. You're annoying. I'm trying to do a video here, if you don't mind, buddy boy. But for the loot, it's not it's not anything real too good. I, I was hoping to find a saddle in here, but this is actually going to be a short seat code spotlight here. But if you want to find that, you just dig right down, right next to the spawner. Let me turn X-ray off. You, you run into the mine shaft here. And I'm wondering if there's a chest, because I want to kind of open one. I'm kind of curious. But that's it for this C code, guys. The next C code I will call Desert Biome. And the only really good thing about this is... Well, that's the look of the desert, and that right there, why am I pointing at the screen, that's dumb, obviously you can't see me pointing, but there's that little red dot, there's lava pool there, but I placed a ghost on here, and a sign, another sign indicating I was facing this way, but first off, um, you want to go to the left, and with the x-ray here, I'll show you guys, there's a um, zombie spawner not too far from the surface, and actually, I think there is, it's flooded with water. That's why there's none spawning. But I will just turn myself on creative here. Head right over here. Okay, I believe it's right here. Yes. So, um, this is kind of a hard spawner to contain and tame and stuff. But it's hard to make a spawn trap out of it because of as you can see the all the water and this sand you're gonna need a respiration helmet for this guys <laughs> but there's only one chest obviously oh I broke it no well that's what's in it we got a saddle two bread bucket three string and one wheat and two iron ingots obviously for a hoe <laughs> um but that's the only really good thing about this C code. Like I said, there's not really anything good with these C codes, but that's it for that one. And, ha, ah, yes. Oh, whoopsie. Um, if you go back here, it says try it. Yes, try that C code, guys. 
Um, the other one is Jungle and Mountains. Only really good thing about this is also we have another zombie spawner. And obviously the same stuff indicating I spawn facing this way in the glowstone. Okay, so I'm just going to turn myself on creative here. So basically this is just, I explored a little bit. I'm not sure how far it goes that way, right over there. But I'm not, I didn't explore all the mountains, but if you just want to, you're facing this way. So if you just want to walk backwards here and you want to walk around the shoreline and then it's very easy to find this zombie spawner. You just want to find this really big mountain right here. You want to get to the very tippy top. And then what you want to do is you want to run all the way down here, hopefully without taking fall damage. And gosh, this is a, I just looked at the time and we're only at six minutes. This is a really short seat code spotlight, but as I was saying, what you want to do is you, when you're, when you're right up here, obviously you have a beautiful view of the jungle biome and clearly as i said you just want to run down here hopefully not take fall damage and not hopefully this doesn't trick you here and you just want to head right down to this really big tree it's there's not really any other ginormous trees like this but clearly you just want to go right here and it you know you're at it if because it's basically <laughs> the only big tree but as you see, if I use x-ray, there is a zombie spawner down there, guys. And there is two chests. So I haven't really checked the loot. I'm not sure what it is. But you can pause the video, check it out. Let me turn myself on full bright here and grab a torch quickly. Okay. Go through some iron. Oh, whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Let's just tame this here so we don't have to listen to these annoying zombies. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There's one right there spazzing out in his little little hole. Yeah. Woo! Party! Okay, so. Coca beans, good for sheep. Three wheat, two coca bean, one redstone, and two iron ingots. Well, that's it for that one. And, ooh, actually, we had three buckets. Wow. And a saddle, yay. Two gunpowder and one more ironing got. So guys, that is the loot for that. And I will just show you the series of caves around this area. There's diamonds right there. I believe that's diamonds or lapaz. I'm not really getting... I'm getting better at the texture pack, but... This is around the area. As you can see, really, really big ravine. I'm pretty sure there are diamonds in there, but... I'm just going to use x-ray. I don't know. I'm curious to see if, oh yeah, there's just a lava pool down here. So don't obviously dig straight down from here. But that's it for their, um, this C code Spotlight, guys. Thanks for watching. If you really like the video, please subscribe. I got part one. I will try to remember to get a um, little tab looking thing. Go to that little link. But thanks for watching, guys. Please like, favor, and comment. I got that mixed around. <laughs> it's actually like, comment, favor, and please subscribe.